This is a quick hit on the setup for a nitric oxide administration for a right heart cath. Just real quick, the equipment. We use a standard non-rebreather that we carry here. This is that same non-rebreather out of the package. Remove the actual bag part and the tubing so you're left with just the mask. The purpose of that is for the flaps to prevent room air entrainment so we get the precise level of nitric oxide being administered to our patient. These are the parts and the pieces as, as you'll need to set up. Most of the, our machines will always have one set up. I try to assure that that's always ready to go. But if not, here's what you need. And piece here is our sample line attachment. The sample line is what pulls back the sample to the machine to assure that our nitric oxide level is accurate and maintains accurate. And then on the end, here is the uh, actual line that uh, instills our nitric gas. After you assemble your equipment and you turn the machine on, this is the initial screen that's going to come up. And when we do a right heart cath nitric administration, we don't need to do any pre-checks. So you can hit simply hit cancel and you're ready to go. When you spin the machine around, we're going to turn the tank on. The tank is just like any other tank. Remember that when we turn this tank on, whether we're running gas or not, we're being billed for every, every minute that this tank is on, literally every minute. So we're going to turn the tank on just like a normal tank. You're going to get a pressure on your pressure manometer here. We're showing about 1700 PSI on that tank. And this gray hose that's attached to our regulator plugs into the back of the machine. Either one of these ports is okay, either this one or this one, it doesn't matter which one. And that's going to be ready then to administer our gas. If we spin the machine back around, we're going to set our nitric level here. And we want to start at 40 parts per million for a right heart study. So we're going to turn that on. We turn our flow on to about 10 liters per minute. And we're going to see that we're going to start getting some nitric readings here on our uh, instrument panel. It's very important that we don't put the mask on the patient until this is reading 40 parts per million. We want to initiate our therapy at the full range at 40 parts per million. to your hose here and this is how the equipment attaches to the patient. So remember don't attach it until you get 40 parts per million on your gas. The test runs for five minutes. Sometimes a physician may want you to go longer than five but never exceed 10 minutes on the gas. Once the test is concluded you want to reduce your nitric oxide levels by 50 percent for five minutes so you would cut the 40 parts per million to 20. Leave it we reduce the gas to 20 parts per million. We leave it there for five minutes. Again, reduce it by 50% to 10 parts per million for five minutes. And we go to five parts per million for five minutes. And then from there, it can be shut off if, if you've not had any adverse reactions by reducing the nitric. When your test is concluded, two really important things to remember is one, to shut the tank off. So we wanna shut this tank off to close it out. We take this hose off, so we push in this metal part right here, and it spring loads the gray hose off. You want to relieve the pressure out of the gray hose, and they provide a little metal bead right here, kind of like a little eyelet, and you just put it on there. It drains the pressure out of the hose, relieving the pressure out of the hose, and that would conclude the test.